In today's Sudoku Primer video, we're going to use some advanced techniques and four patterns to solve this puzzle. This is puzzle number 251 from Dell Original Sudoku, November 2020. And one comment about the Dell Challenger skill level. I think on average it is more is harder, more difficult than the diabolical skill level in Sudoku to go magazines. Just a observation on my part, at least in my opinion, I think they are. I want to also point out that on sudokuprimer.com there's now a news section where you can read interesting Sudoku news and other articles. And that section will be updated regularly when new articles are found, so check out that news section and check back once in a while to see if there's any new information out there. If you like these videos, please click the like and click the red subscribe button. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. Well, to get to start out, I wanted to point out a di diagonal pattern that I saw here, right here. Well, we've got we've got a couple of diagonal patterns here, but this one here um, we can use because we have a one and a nine in this column and a one and a nine in this column. So there are one nine twins here. Uh, the first number I'm going to place is a 5 right there. And at first glance you'll wonder how I got that, but I basically saw that this cell can see every other number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that's how I got that number right there. All right, now let's look at box two here. We have a three and a four here and a three and a four here. So we have three, four twins right here. We also have a one here and a one here, so one of these has to be a one. But we have twins here, so we know that is a one right there. And uh, <clears throat> these three, four twins can also be solved. I know that's a four and that's a three. And that's because we have a gate pattern here, and a, f a 4 going through the gate, and a 4 here. So one of these has to be a 4, so we know that has to be the 3 of the 3 4 twins there. Now um, we have a 5 and an 8 left here, and this uh, right here we have a corner pattern in this. In box 8, we've got an 8 here in row 7, so we know we have ghost 8s here. So we know that's an 8, and therefore we can fill in the 5 and the 8 and finish that box. All right, now I know this is a 5 here, and that is because, you remember our... Um, diagonal pattern here and the one nine twins well that the diagonal pattern when you can when you can find twins for a diagonal pattern it turns into a hidden corner pattern we know these are one nine twins and in this case we've got a five here so we know that the five has to be in one of these two cells because of the one nine twins and so therefore, uh, we have ghost fives here. We know the five can't go there. And that's how I knew that is a five. All right. And now we have um, three, six, and seven left in row two. And there's two ways to find a three. The three goes right here. There's two ways to find that three. One is you can see there's a three can't, uh, the three can't go there or there. Another way is looking at the three numbers missing, three, six, and seven. There's a three here, so that's a six or a seven. There's a three here, so that's a six or a seven. So we have six, seven twins here, so we know that's a three. All 
All right. Now, um, we have a 3 and a 9 here. A 3 here and a 9 here. And I, I found those uh, because I looked at column 8 here. First of all, I found that there are 6, 8 twins in row 1 and row 9. So with these 6, 8 twins, we're missing 1, 5, 7, and 9 in this column. And uh, <clears throat> we've got a 1 here and a 1 here, so one of these is a 1. We've got a 7 here, and with that 7, we have ghost 7s here, so we know one of these is a 7. So we have 1, 7 twins right here. We've also got a 3 and a 9 there and a 3 and a 9 there. So we know, and they can't go here because of the the 1, 7 twins, so we know they go right here. There's a 9 there, so we know the 3 goes there and the 9 goes there. All right, now we have um, an 8 here, and so we know that is an 8, again, because of the 1, 7 twins here. And we have 2 and 6 left. Now we also know that, uh, let's see, um, we have a, uh, because these are 1, 7 twins and these are 6, 8 twins, we know these are 5, 9 twins. And we've got an 8 here and an 8 here. So we know we have ghost eights here, because this cannot be an eight, because it's one of the five nine twins. So we have ghost eights here and an eight there, so we know that is an eight. All right. Now let's look at column four here. What are we missing? One, two, six. One, two, and six. There's a 1 and a 6 there, so that's a 2. And there's 1 and 6 here. So we have 1, 7 twins there, 1, 6 twins there. Okay, but now we've, and we've only got 1 and 7 left in box 8 here, and there's a 1 there, so we can finish those. And with that 1, 7 filled in here, we know that's a 7. Of course, that's the only number left in that column too, right? All right, now we can fill in, we've got a two here going through, a, there's another gate pattern here, two going through the gate and a two here. So we have two here or here, and since we have a two there already, we know that's a two. And with that two, we can solve our two six twins that we found. Right, and now let's see. With that seven here, we can solve the one seven twins here that we know about, and the one six twins we found there. We only got two numbers left here. Um, <coughs> one, two, five, two and five. So we can solve them. And with the seven here and and the one ones here and sevens here, we know these are one and seven, so we can finish those. All right, and then um, with this one, we know the we can solve these one nine twins we found earlier. We found those at the beginning, and now we've got a nine nine. 9, so that's a 9 right there. All right, with that 9, we can solve the 5, 9 twins that we found there. All right, now we're missing 4, 6, and 8 here. Yeah, 6 and 8 there, so that's a 4. 
And here's a six, so we can finish those. Remember, we had six eight twins here, so that's an eight right there. All right. Now box seven is missing a four, five, and a six. We got a five and a six in row nine already. So we can finish all three of those numbers there. All right, now we have just a three and a six left in column two that we can finish. Now we're missing four, five, six, and eight here. These are four and five, so we can finish those. And six and eight we can finish. All right now we're missing three, seven, and eight in box one. So that's a three. There's a seven there, so we can finish those. Now we're missing four, four, six, and seven. And we got those done. And that's it. Well, um, so we're using a few techniques and uh, finding four different patterns. We found the gate pattern, the corner pattern, and the diagonal pattern in this. And we also found a hidden corner. I called that the fourth pattern. Um, and hidden patterns are, can be very, very helpful. They're a little harder to spot, but they can be very helpful too. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.